Welcome to Round Ball Rap. I'm Dondre Phoenix, along with my co-host. Welcome back, ah, Jermaine man. Murray. Welcome, welcome. welcome back. I miss y'all guys, man. I miss y'all no guys. Question, of course. Of course. Uh, my co-host from It's Yours TV. It's been a while. It's been, been a while. Been yeah, a while. of course, of course, man. A full season. Full we season? have a full season. Wow, let's get you know, started. A full season. Let's get it started. Yeah. Let's get it started. And not just the NBA for those out there. We're going to do high school, local high school, and uh, the NCAAs as well. And we're going to cover local uh, uh, college basketball as well. Of course, Reggie Williams up at uh, Chesapeake, Chesapeake College. That's yes. huge. That's huge. Yeah, huge. Yeah. Um, former Hoyer great. Um, yeah. Was entri actually enshrined into um, Georgetown's Hall of Fame recently. So just a, a huge pickup for the Eastern Shore and Chesapeake College. Um, in general, just yeah. a, a history making event. Yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. really oh. think people appreciate oh, the yeah. magnitude of wow. it. But um, um, he was with he was at a, a Catholic high school that um, unfortunately um, closed its doors, and so um, lucky for us, unfortunately for them, but lucky for us, so yeah. we now have a, a living legend. On exactly. coaching on the Eastern Shore. Who would have ever thought? Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. That's huge for recruiting. Too. Yes, absolutely. Uh, huge, huge, absolutely. Huge. Well, let's get the ball rolling here because yeah. we, we, yeah. We, we're, we're in full swing now. We've got a week through the NBA. And uh, uh, we, first, let's, let's talk about some of the trades. Um, that it was a big, big off season. A lot of trades, some old faces in new places. Mm -hmm. And uh, first of all, let's talk, I think, one of the biggest. Uh, probably w the biggest, literally. Shaq. <laughs> 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 going to Cleveland. <laughs> yeah. Your thoughts on that? Um, I like Shaq, D. Mm -hmm. I, I like Shaq as a person, but me personally, I kind of think Shaq is going to do the same thing he did to Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of clog the lane yep. and, and not letting Bronny kind of have the space he needed to do his thing and, yeah. and, and, and flush on somebody. But mm -hmm. like I said, a, as a as a pickup, I mean, it's, it's, it's good because it's kind of letting the – the fans know that we are we trying to do everything we can to keep LeBron here in Cleveland, but I just don't think it's it's, it's nowhere near enough, D. Nowhere yeah. near enough. Yeah, yeah. I I, I, I equate it to um, AI in Philly. I think LeBron's gonna have to score 40, right. 45 points for them just to have a shot at mm -hmm. winning. I mean, Shaq is not the Shaq no, when he was with the Lakers, no, when he was with Orlando, no, even no. when he was with Miami. Yes. He's not that Shaq. No. Um, I, I think them looking. Um, uh, they looked at Shaq being a 2010 guy. Mm -hmm. Well, if, if that's the case, Cleveland better look for some change. Yeah, they're better. They're better. <laughs> and, uh, he's not giving them 20 and 10. <laughs> no, no, those, those days are long gone. And, and not only um, is, is he going to not produce the same amount of numbers, in my opinion, he's going to actually hurt LeBron um, and the team in general because I think um, it's, it's early in the season they've been trying to play Shaq and Elgowskis a little bit, that's not going to work because that's just going to yeah. slow the team yeah. to a drastic halt. Mm -hmm. um, and just with Shaq himself, I just think he's going to clog the lane up way too much for LeBron um, on his drives. Mm -hmm. And as we all know, that's his, LeBron's most strongest suit is driving to right. the lane. Exactly. But it's exactly. much difficult to drive to the lane when you have Shaq and his man plus LeBron and, yeah. and two other guys chasing him. So I just don't think in the long run it's going to be a, a big pickup. Yeah, and, and you're right because you look at the top two teams in the East with Orlando, and um, with Boston, their two bigs are mobile, and they can move. They're going to do a lot right. of pick and roll. Right. Mm -hmm. History Bring shows Shaq is not great right. regarding <laughs> that pick and roll. Yeah. And like you say, you throw Ilgowskis in there, even uh, – What's the power forward? Um, Rarazot. 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 Right, you bring him in there too. He's, he's the same type of player. Exactly, yeah, right. yeah, he's not fleet of foot as well, right. so they're going to have problems out there yeah. guarding their pick and roll, Absolutely. and they're going to pick and roll them to death. To death, Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Um, another big, uh, let's, your man over there, AI. Mm. <laughs> mm. He makes his debut tonight, he, too, right. as well. He's Laser part of Jair, this late, Laser Jair, he makes his debut tonight. Yeah, he's in another <laughs> uniform. <laughs> um, what, what, what do you think about AI's uh, role in Memphis? Well, I, I think it's going to be a positive role. Um, I know a lot of people are, are, are suspect of the move. Is he kidding me? I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, hold on. He's a homer. Okay, all right, go ahead. Hold on. Hear me out. Hear me out. That team has a lot of talent on it. People don't realize oh, yeah. this, that, but that, that team has an awful lot of talent. And the key is going to be this. How well they get off um, this season once Allen debuts tonight. In Sacramento, <laughs> um, if they get off, no. See, I laugh. <laughs> no, no, okay. no, no, no. If they get off to a positive start, mm -hmm. it's just going to build and build and build. They have a lot of talent. They have, they have big men. They have Basalt, your guy, Powell's little brother, yeah, who's Mark, actually, Mark, yeah, Mark, who's actually yeah. at this point better than Powell's. Is Powell's in mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, like, My ears were, 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 were,
No, but actually, but actually, he's playing great, yeah, good yeah, ball yeah, starting yeah, off. Yeah. Then you have my, one of my favorite young guys, OJ Mayo. Then mm, you have forty last night. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and and you have the, the big guy, the big scoring power for um, um, Randolph. Right. So yeah, 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 Zach they Randolph. Had Zach yeah. Randolph. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, if yeah, they get there. off to a good start and everyone will will find their role, that's my super team. I, I think my, my key to it is uh, I think AI is going to have to kind of take a step back a little bit, not oh, be course. so aggressive offensively. Pick um, his spots. Pick his spots, spots, exactly, because you got young guys like Rudy, Rudy Gay, uh, Mayo. They're used mm -hmm. to shooting. They got the green light. Mm -hmm. you know? right. Then you get AI in there, and he's going to get his 20-plus shots normally. Um, if he can keep it down to 15, because AI really can when he wants to, he's a, he. I mean, he, he can penetrate and dish. He's a great distributor. Right. When he wants if to. he has the talent around him. When he wants. When he wants to, it ha he has. Yeah. He well, has see, to know the, when to when to pull back. Here's the thing, and then we go. We go but here's the reason why I say it's, it's it's start. If they get a good start, they'll be just fine. Is because Allen has the mentality that he know he can score. So if he passes you the ball two or three times and you don't score, yeah. Then that next time he's going to take he's it because he says, right. okay, I gave you a chance. To, to prove that you to me that you can score and you can't, but I know I can score. Yeah. So now I'm gonna take this next couple shots, and yeah. and and that's what I say. If he can get into an early rhythm with his teammates, look out. Yeah, that that's that that was the same way Kobe's mindset was before he mm. got to the point where he could trust his teammates. Great point. He was the same way. Great uh, point. You know, I would drive. He would drive and right. kick, right. and you missed a few shots. No, no, I, that's you know, it. I can yeah. take that shot no, whenever no, I want to. I can score I whenever I'm ready. I, right. I like AI, and don't, don't even get it twisted, because when he broke MJ down, that, that hurt my heart. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, but yeah. I, I just think they bought AI in to sell a few tickets. Oh, okay. Me, well. me personally, I just think they bought him in. Now, he's going to get his minutes, he's going to get his touches, but I just think it was just a, a way for the organization to show the crowd, look, we're going to spend a little money, we're going to try to bring y'all in, and we're going to try to build something here. Me personally, then nobody want this man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nobody well, want this man. So I, I'm feeling as though they just bought him in, because... They, we already know what the foundation is. Rudy Gay, OJ, and them young boys. Yeah. I often I think that he just bought him and sell a few tickets. And yeah. I didn't yeah. even mention Rudy Gay, another great yeah, up and coming yeah, talent. Yeah. So. And I and I think with, with Iverson, it wasn't so much his talent. He, the guy can still put it up. Yeah, he can still play a role. I think it was him and and, and 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 what he brings. You know, as far as like you know, the practice. Practice, <laughs> practice, man. For sure. Practice. You can't I, have I, you can't I have it rubbing off on your young guys. Right, right. And you know I think I mean? it's just an attitude and from the past and you know and a lot of guys I mean a lot of you know they hear certain things you know yeah, and that they was, really don't yeah. know see that him. was that was I think what hurt Allen a lot yeah. in the off season it's is what's the like, unknown like what's the unknown yeah, and um, which is another reason why I think this is going to work because anyone who knows Allen knows he's such a competitor that if you tell him he can't do something he's going to prove you wrong and do the opposite mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I just think that he, you know he he listen he heard all the negativity that was going around and like my co-host here said a lot of people didn't want him. I, I think he's going to be out to prove that people, not only should they have wanted him, they should have gotten him. And on that, on that, don't mean to flip floppy, but do, do you think it's more like, like Iverson got this attitude, like it's more of a T.O. type, where I'm kind of at my last kind of oh, no question. road, I, so I got to kind of walk that straight and narrow, you know I, what I mean? I, I, I think, think so. Think I think so. Like that? That's I a good so. point. Yeah. I also think that he has to, um, I hope this works for him because yeah. it'll give him a chance for a contender to say, okay, right. he's a piece that we right. can pick up towards right. the trade deadline. Right. And so, yeah. um, um, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we'll the see. answer. I'm definitely, I'm definitely <laughs> going to tune in. We're going to see. We're going to see. <laughs> I'm definitely going to tune in. Let's move on to another big move. Um, the uh, champs of uh, 08. Mm. Boston Celtics uh, picked up uh, mm. another big player, Rasheed Wallace, mm. uh, who I love Rasheed, of course, Carolina alum. And um, that was huge because you already have KG, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, mm -hmm. and, um, and you bring another guy like that in that, in that, in that, in that front court. Mm -hmm. um, although he's coming off the bench right now, it doesn't matter because he's going to be in there at oh, the end yeah. of the game, yeah. you For know, sure. and he can knock down For that sure. out.